As I continued my journey north on the Pacific Coast Highway towards Oregon, the views just kept getting better and better. I pulled over countless times to observe the coastline and remind myself there's no rush to get anywhere. I turned down a road to try and find some water and Wi-Fi, since I hadn't had service for a while, and I ended up spotting a lighthouse in the distance. I figured I'd check it out and see if I could climb it. Okay, so it looks like you can climb the lighthouse. I feel like it's going to be really expensive. If it's $20, I'll do it. If it's more than $20, I'm not going to do it. Yay! It's only $10. So I'm super excited. <laughs> um, he said I can either drive in or walk, but I'm going to walk. You know what? I'm also going to change. I'm just going to get in here and put on something pretty and cute real quick. I'm ready to climb a lighthouse. You guys take cards, right? We do. Is that your dog? That is Tassie the lighthouse dog, yes. Oh, he's huge. She is my gentle she's giant. Huge. And you're more than welcome to go give her a pat on the head and a scratch behind the ear. She loves it. I will. Do you know what kind of dog she is? She looks like a polar she's, bear. She's a great Pyrenees. Yeah. They're a protector breed. They're bred to live with livestock and protect them from predators. Oh, cool. So they don't herd them or anything. They just live with them. And the males, they've been documented to kill mountain lions and bears. To oh, wow. Them. Hi, baby. <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Arena Mina. I hope I see Arena Mina. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. They have a lighthouse dog and a lighthouse cat. So cute. I know. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, the dog. I walked up the 145 stairs of the Point Arena Lighthouse as a guide explained that the original lighthouse was built in 1870, destroyed by an earthquake in 1907, and rebuilt in the exact same spot about half a year later. Pretty cool that over a century ago these same walls surrounded lighthouse keepers who lived and slept here. They had to wake up every 75 minutes to hen crank, a 160 pound weight to keep the lens turning prior to the introduction of electricity. Due to erosion, they predict the lighthouse will be washed away and collapse within the next 25 to 50 years. I asked what they plan to do, and she said they're not sure yet. This lighthouse happened to be the same one in Mel Gibson's Forever Young, filmed in 1992, and the same lighthouse in Need for Speed, filmed in 2014. It's also the tallest lighthouse on the west coast, and the closest point in the country to Hawaii, excluding Alaska. The guide told me an hour ago on her lunch break she spotted a bunch of whales, and that she sees whales at least once a week this time of year. Unfortunately, I did not spot any, but on my walk back to my car, I did spot a bunch of seals sunbathing. Hey there guys, so I uh, just ate some food at Safeway and now I found this spot. So this is what I'm looking at. Crazy. I think I'm just gonna walk around here for a while and explore around these rocks. Put on my bathing suit, jump in the ocean so I can like feel kind of clean. <laughs> Hi, I just showered by jumping in the ocean. It was really cold, really, really cold. Sadness with your rain boots in blue. Since I can remember, I've been running from you. This is great lighting.
<laughs> I'm pretty sunburnt. Wow. Oh, this is really nice. <laughs> I had been walking on the secluded beach for about two miles when I ran into the sea lion. I realized he was malnourished and wounded. It seemed it took all his strength to look at me, and then he would just drop his head into the sand. I climbed some rocks to get signal and called the wildlife rescue hotline. They told me someone would come check it out within an hour. I walked back to the parking lot where my car was to wait for them so I could show them where to go. The sun was setting quickly. As I waited, I chatted with a family who I had passed earlier with their two dogs. They were actually on their way back from Oregon, where they saw the husband's mother one last time before she had passed away. The man ended up telling me how he spent 20 years of his life in jail for something stupid he did as a kid. As he stared at the horizon, he spoke about how for years he thought he'd never see the beach again or be able to be in nature and how very grateful he is for everything now. I said goodbye and I decided I was done waiting for the wildlife rescue. It had been almost two hours. If the sea lion was going to die there, I figured I might as well be with him so that he's not alone. So I'm trying to go be with the sea lion, but the waves are extremely big now. And this is the way that I went before, but the, the tide came all the way up. So there's no way for me to get over there now, unless I'm waist deep in water. And I'm obviously not gonna do that, it's freezing. Um, so I have to turn back, unfortunately, and I'm so sad because I just, I just want to stay with the sea lion, you know? I mean, I wanted to see if it's still there, and if it is and it's dying, I wanted to at least, like, sit with it while it dies, you know? So, I'm very sad. I'm just running, climbing back now. Um, I'm going to try one more thing. There's a staircase over there that goes up. I'm going to see if maybe I can, like, get around some of these houses up here and try to look down on it at least and see if it's there. But, yeah, the marine people never came, so, I don't know, I waited two hours, but, I mean, I know it's life, you know, it's just sea lion, life and death and all, but, I don't know, I feel like I found him for a reason, I really wanted to be with it, so, we'll see. Wow, this is really beautiful, though. At least if he goes out tonight, there was a beautiful sunset for the sea lion to enjoy if animals enjoy sunsets. So there's a staircase here. Uh, I'm gonna try to go up it. I think it just leads to a house, unfortunately, but I'm gonna double check and see. Okay, so this is private property and I'm stuck at a gate, so I'm going back. Not allowed to go that way. Um, and there's houses all along here. So there's no way for me to like go along the cliff. I'm really invested in the sea lion. I think I might sleep around here and then come and come back in the morning when the tide's low. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to drive up the street and go to sleep for the night. Wow, that's bright. So I found a spot to park about a half a mile away from the beach I was just at. I'm going to wake up early and go try to find the sea lion in the morning. <laughs> Good night, guys. morning so i'm gonna go up the street and get some gas there's a starbucks up the street so i'm gonna go to the starbucks and just use the sink to brush my teeth and use the bathroom to pee it's a spooky day yeah i'm gonna go and uh see if it's still there what happened call those people back as I got back to the beach, I was pleasantly surprised to find the rescue team treating the sea lion who was still alive. The rescuers told me they've been getting calls every day this month for seals and sea lions, and that a lot of them have leptospirosis, which is a bacterial infection that affects the liver and kidneys, and domoic acid poisoning, which is a naturally occurring neurotoxin produced by marine algae. Sadly, the increase in sea lions contracting these sicknesses is due to climate change and warmer waters.